Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with chapter 11, Constructions. We'll take a look at the third question of exercise 11.2 on page 195. Here, you need to construct a triangle, triangle PQR, such that length QR is 6 cm, the angle Q is 60 degrees, and the difference of the other two sides, see, you have QR, so the, which, are, which, are, which are the other two sides? You have PR and PQ left. So the difference between these two sides is 2 centimeters. So how will you go about the construction? First of all, this is the side that is given all by itself. So this is going to be considered as the base. So what are we first going to do? We are going to draw QR of 6 centimeters. So you can name this as QR or QR over here. So Q can come here or here, but we have learned whatever base angle is given that will come on this side. So I will call this as QR. Okay. Now angle Q is 60 degrees. So I am going to draw 60 degrees over here. So obviously P will come somewhere around here. Right. Now what is the difference given? The difference given is PR minus PQ. That means PR is greater than PQ. Correct. See PR minus you have PR minus PQ is equal to 2 centimeters. That means PR is equal to PQ plus 2 centimeters. That means PR is greater than PQ because if I remove this 2, you will get a greater than sign over here. So now the difference PR minus PQ is 2 centimeters. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this line PQ until here. And then I will take 2 centimeters on my compass and cut this over here on the extended side. So let's say I call this as y. Now what I will do is I will join y to r. So this is y to r I have joined. Now I am going to draw the perpendicular bisector of y r. So let us say the perpendicular bisector is this and it cuts q p or y p at a. Sorry this is suppose this was x I will mark this as p this point of intersection of the perpendicular bisector and Qx. We had assumed that P will come here. So this line I have named as X. Now I will join P to R. So now I am saying that triangle PQR, this triangle is my required triangle. How? First of all, I have taken this length YQ as 2 centimeters. But what is PR minus PQ, it is 2 centimeters. So I need to prove that. So we need to prove that YQ is equal to PR minus PQ, which is equal to 2 centimeters. We already have through construction that YQ is equal to 2 centimeters. Let's mark this as 1. Now P lies on the perpendicular bisector of YR. Therefore P is going to be equidistant from Y and R. That means PY is equal to PR. So I have PY is equal to PR because any point lying on the perpendicular bisector is equidistant from the vertices of the uh, line segment. Okay, so PY is equal to PR. Let's mark this as 2. And from this construction, you can see that PQ is equal to PY minus YQ. So I have PQ is equal to PY minus YQ. Let's mark this as 3. Now, PY is equal to PR. Therefore, what can I say? PQ is equal to PR minus YQ. Right? This is from 2 and 3. Now, what I will do is I will bring YQ on this side. Therefore, this will become positive. I will leave PR as it is and I am bringing PQ on this side instead of YQ. So PQ is positive over here, it will come here and become negative. So you have YQ is equal to PR minus PQ, but YQ is what? 2 centimeters. Hence proved. Therefore, this is a required triangle out here, PQR, where the base QR is 6 centimeters. This angle Q is 60 degrees and the difference between these two sides where PR is the greater side, that's PR minus PQ is 2 centimeters. Now let's go ahead and do the construction. So first, 
what we are going to do is draw QR. So, I am going to draw QR as the base 6 centimeters. This is not the exact measurement on the board because it would look too small. So, I am just doing it uh, on the basis of my assumption, but you make sure that this length is 6 centimeters in your notebooks. I will call this QR and mark the endpoints of this segment. Now, we are going to draw a 60 degree angle at vertex Q. So, how do you draw the 60 degree angle? You are going to place your needle of the compass on vertex Q. You are going to cut an arc, right? Let us say this arc is M. Without changing this length, you are going to keep the needle at M and cut an arc on this arc. Let us say you call this or rather just mark this vertex and join Q to this vertex and extend it in both the directions. So, first I am going to, so what I am doing is I am just extending this line. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to take 2 centimeters on my compass and with Q as my center, I will place the needle at vertex Q and I am going to cut 2 centimeters out here. Let me call this as Y. So, let this be X over here, let this point be Y. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to join Y to R. So, let us join Y to R. So, I have connected Y to R to give my line segment Y R. Now, we are supposed to draw the perpendicular bisector of Y R such that this perpendicular bisector should cut X Y at a point P. So, let us draw the perpendicular bisector. How do you draw the perpendicular bisector? You take more than half the length of Y R and you cut arcs on both the sides with Y and R as the center one at a time. Just one moment. I will just redo this construction for the perpendicular bisector since I just missed out. So, again with y and r as my center one at a time, I am going to cut arcs on either side. Now, let us mark the point of intersection of these arcs, this point and this point out here, right. You are going to join these two points. such that this point cuts y x at the point p. Now, you are going to join p to r. So, joining p to r, mark this point, you get your desired triangle. So, here triangle p q r is your required triangle. I will highlight it with a different color, so that you get a better understanding. So, I have P to Q, then Q to R, and finally P to R.
and this angle out here is 60 degrees that is angle Q. Now let us go ahead and write the construction steps. I am going to go ahead and erase this. I hope you have taken a note of the proof as well as the rough so that while you are solving your while you are doing the construction you will have an idea what is being done or in fact even the construction steps are going to be handy. So let us start with the construction steps. Step 1, draw QR is equal to 6 centimeters. Draw angle XQR is equal to 60 degrees. So how did you draw 60 degrees over here? See why is this 60 degrees? We know how did we draw 60 degrees by taking an arc over here, right? And without changing the distance, we took the, uh, this as the center uh, and cut an arc, we by intersected this arc at let us say point O, right. So how is this 60 degrees? See this length over here is the same as this length and if I join O to M, it will be the same length. Therefore, OQ is equal to QM is equal to MO, which is, a, so this makes triangle OQM as a as an equilateral triangle. Therefore, each angle of equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. So, that is how this uh, angle out here XQR is 60 degrees. So, draw XQR equal to 60 degrees and extend XQ such that to a point such that you get X Q and Y. Or rather, just one moment, please. So, you drew your angle XQR is 60 degrees and you are going to just extend XQ in the opposite directions. So, why did I strike out XQY right now is because this length QY is 2 centimeters, right. So now the next step will be with Q as the center, cut an arc of 2 centimeters on opposite side of XQ right at point y such that what do you get you get x q and y that is now you have a line segment x y and q lies on this line segment then you are going to join y r then you are going to bisect draw perpendicular bisector of YR such that it intersects YX at point P. Then you are going to join PR. Therefore, triangle PQR is the required triangle. So please take a look at the construction steps as well as the construction. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.